What's up guys, Gums here and welcome back to Pro Sign 2023 for episode number 28 of the Bloodstone Equities Black Spoke Career Mode. In today's episode, we will do the second week of our Giro d'Italia that we began in the previous episode. If you haven't seen that one, then do feel free to go ahead and check it out. It was quite an interesting episode uh, with a lot of things happening. So yeah, today we've got some sprint, some time trial, two mountain stages, and uh, just because I know you love the Cage de Dunkerque, we'll slap the final stage of the Cage de Dunkerque in the episode for the vibes. Might be a new episode, it's still a very poor race day condition for Ethan Vernon, another minus one for the uh, British champion, a plus one for Rory Townsend. We're not going to do well in this completely flat stage between Osiek and I think Novichad. Final 7 kilometers. our train is ready, um, if you want to understand why we only have 6 riders left in this team, uh, make sure to watch the previous episode, but we are trying to catch the breakaway of 13 riders who wants to win, clearly, and they've made the most of their chances today, we have a lead rider up Seb Van Marker. is it time for him to finally win a stage at his grand ass age? Potentially, Miles Scottson though uh, does not see said option and uh, he's pacing with James Fouché in the wheel, Rory Townsend, Ethan Vernon, final kilometer for Seb Van Marker, he's got what, 500 meters until he finally gets a win, and he's going to get said win, it's a shame for once, Ethan Vernon was well placed and was accurately positioned, I shut up with my, I was going to win the mass sprint, I was going to win the mass sprint with Ethan Vernon, <laughs> Fuck sake. I think his uh, P2 of yesterday inspired Ethan Vernon to get his sprinting shoes on. Plus five for the British champion is today the day we finally win a mass sprint in the World Tour. Is it finally the day we win a mass sprint on the Grand Tour? No, because I'll find a way to lose, as I always do. We've prepared ourselves for the sprint. We're trying to catch Rune Herogot, who uh, was the last solo rider in the breakaway. Rory Townsend... He's actually trying to come back here. Yeah? Could I could I use Rory? Ooh. If I can, it's gonna be very late. Uh but maybe yeah no, I think it's yeah no, it's too late. It's it's too late for uh for Rory Townsend. Scottson getting blocked, Scottson getting blocked, so Scottson managed to unblock himself, but we're not in a good position. And it's a downhill sprint as well, which I had not seen or anticipated, therefore we are nowhere to be seen. It's a win for Arnaud Delin, Tuzla, and it is a low top 10 finish for Ethan Vernon. The time trial began, um, my leader for the time trial was Miles Scottson, uh, but I just completely misjudged the strategy. And it's a 2 net 41 loss. We are going to lose a lot of time today with Ruben Thompson. He is not a time trialist. He really is not. It's not a bad day, so to speak. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually a good day for Ruben Thompson. Um, 69 time trial, 71 flats today for the best young rider of this Giro. Hopefully I can overtake Vadim Pronsky, uh, but I think he's the only rider in the top 10 that I can beat. Maybe Filippo Zana, but I, I think... I think we're going to keep the top 10 today, GC-wise. Um, another good thing is that Thomas Glog is not a good time trialist, so I don't think my white jersey is threatened as of now. But the likes of Gegenhardt, the likes of Joe Almeida, the likes of Sivakov, Mas, Bernal, and Mark Seda will all fly away from me. We're already a minute behind uh, at the first intermediate. We are fucked. The gap has gone up to 323. Did Ruben Thompson have a puncture? How the... F how the fuck? I was, like, managing the gap well enough. 3.23, are you dumb? What the fuck? Well, uh, cross the line for Ruben Thompson. 4.41! I think Sivakov is... I think Sivakov is potentially moving into the leader's jersey at this point. Actually, no, Mark Zola is going to keep it. Vadim Pronsky is going to lose 10 minutes. Wow! And Ethan Vernon is back to his usual minus one. Um, just see what I'm going to take a look. We are five minutes behind now. Ouch. We did get overtaken by Gingenart, um By Joao Almeida as well, I think. Uh, who's now sitting in P2. <laughs> Mental. Ethan Ata has gone up to P11. Uh, well done, lad. Vadim Pronsky has gone from P4 to P13. It's... 
it's been a bit of a mad one. I don't. I, I hope there's no time trial anymore in this race because otherwise I am fucked. We're preparing for the sprint with Dylan Hopkins on the right hand side of the road. We're trying to avoid Kaspar Asgren. We are not going to avoid Kaspar Asgren. Um, let's try to uh, make our way maybe to the left hand side of the road here if possible. Um, it's it's, uh, it's difficult, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Five k to go. Let's use the gel. We're now going to get blocked by the train of uh, UAE Team Emirates. Miles Scottson, James Fouché, Rory Townsend, Ethan Vernon. We're gonna get absolutely blocked once again by uh, this time Quick Step. Only Rory Townsend is making it out of this group so far. Ethan Vernon getting blocked. We'll go to the right hand side. Rory Townsend losing a couple of positions, and we are done. It's a shame. So shame, uh, Ethan Vernon never able to use his sprint. Philipson taking the stage. Our sprinting display or prowesses or lack of there on this Euro has been short of ridiculous. Taking a break from Italy, we are in France for the Queen stage of the Carlo Dunker between Gravine and Cassel. Currently sitting in P2 with Marco Matthews after two stage wins for the uh, Aussie. A stage that can be won by the breakaway, so we'll uh, try and manage that. We'll send someone in the break, we'll send Ryan Christensen, just in case. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. It's a stage I like, but that's, that's mo mostly why I'm playing it. Approaching a key moment of the stage, uh, because we are at 35 kilometers to the end, and we have three minutes of deficit to the breakaway. A uh, breakaway which I was a part of with Ryan Christensen, but as you can see by his energy, he absolutely exploded. Um, Daniel Oss, uh, Lucas Blauer and Liam Stock are in the lead, Damien Girard trying to chase them. Um, and in the peloton it is Logan Curry who's taken responsibility here uh, trying to uh, chase down the leaders. Peloton of 62. Uh, Logan has a plus five, plus three, sorry, but a plus five in cobbles, which is absolutely key for me today because it's going to allow me to pace in Cassel and hopefully reduce the gap so that later on I could unleash an attack with Michael Matthews and try to catch the uh, trio up front. The strong rhythm of Max Paul was uh, enough to bridge or to nearly bridge the breakaway gap of just under 30 seconds. As uh, Blauer tries to go once again, I think Pierre Gautera is starting to struggle. That is the um, current leader of this race. There he is. He's absolutely exploded under the rhythm of Max Paul. Great, great, great work by um by Max. Uh, I, I want to say winner of the uh, Volta Catalunya, but I'm actually not sure that was him. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Thomas Pitcock is still here, so I can't go uh, like guns blazing out and all that. Because uh, he could definitely bully me and, and take the lead. Uh, Kevin Juniette is also here. Christophe Laporte is here. A huge amount of good riders are here on this uh, this schedule de Dunkerque. Victor Campenart has made a move, uh, but he immediately slowed down. Uh, does he go again? I think he does. We'll follow once more with Michael Matthews. Thomas Pitcock in the wheel. Could it be just S3 fighting for the win? It most certainly could. And I would actually be quite happy with a, a fight of just three riders, but no. Joel Suter is going to bring back everyone for uh, his leader, Kevin Jonietz. 1.6k until the end of uh, this queen stage of the Carlos de Dunkerque. Michael Matthews to increase his rhythm even more. <sighs> Come on, 700 meters. I'm basically out of energy. I'm going to struggle to sprint. We're going to just... Kick out of the saddle at the very end. Parisini cannot do anything. Neither can Thomas Pitcock. It's a one for Bolton Equities. A two and three for Team Sky. But it's a win for Michael Matthews and Bolton. Get in. Some mountains to try and uh, forget about the horrendous time trial that we've experienced. Rory Townsend, Ruben Thompson at the front of the peloton. Dylan Hopkins, James Fouché are here. A good to have a plus five with Dylan and James. That's absolutely um, prevalent, that's not a word I want to use, but fuck it. At least you guys know that I know words. I don't know the meaning of them, but I know words. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be uh, very important to us. If we want to do anything with Ruben, um, I can't lie. The, the time troll did completely um, take me by surprise. I, I, I expected to lose some time. I did not think I'd lose four and a half minutes. Uh, that, yeah, that surprised me. 
What's coming up is a very long climb. The uh, Beshna Kobila, 27 kilometers, a max of 19% in the final kilometer, uh, because the first 20 kilometers are actually remarkably normal. Um, an average gradient of 5% throughout the entirety of the climb is all right. Um, but yeah, the climb has begun. Two minutes for the breakaway, so they're not going to go very far. Uh, Vadim Pronsky has gone back into the breakaway. Um, okay. Okay, we're good. So far, we're good. There's been a crash. James Fouché is down. Uh, he's back on the bike, though, but it's... Uh, it's it's yet another crash for us as the rhythm has increased big times. Ruben Thompson dropping like a fly. Brother, get back up. Ethan Ata just crashed and somehow he's still ahead of Ruben Thompson. Gonna be honest, I uh, badly, badly misjudged the climb. Um, I thought I could just not use energy in the, well, main portion of it. Uh, I, I mean, that was a big mistake because that put me at the back of the peloton. And uh, therefore, with a distinct lack of energy. I'm trying to recover a bit, just just a tad, a smidget of uh, of yellow energy could be the key here between uh, getting dropped and uh, staying afloat with the peloton five kilometers left. We are starting the difficult portion of the climb now. Ruben Thompson, Dylan Hopkins are the only riders left for Bolton Equities Black Spoke as we're going to catch the uh, remaining rider of the breakaway. That was Lorenz De Plus for uh, Sad, no for Bora Hansgrohe. Definitely no uh, clash between the two jerseys. Definitely, uh, definitely not the same green as well. 3.5k to go. Oh, Marc Soler. Oh, Marc Soler. I'm seeing the, the head bubble from left to right. And that's never a good sign. Di Maria Rosa is going down quicker than Jay Vine in a downhill. That's not good for him. Egan Bernal is leading in Beshna Kobila. Ruben Thompson, so far, so good. The energy is not massively here, but it's it's here. Acceleration, Tug Gennart, Yates, Pavel Sivokov, Bernal may try to follow. Yates has forgotten that he could use his legs. Ruben Thompson chases down the leaders and actually overtakes Bernal, Sivokov and Gegenart. The question is, can we hold on to this? It's gonna be a top four finish which is a lot better than what I thought I would provide. And I think Theo Gegenhardt is going to jump me. Yeah, Gegenhardt takes the stage, but we're going to claim a very, very nice P2 here in Beshna Kobila. I did not see that coming, but we'll happily, happily take this. Final stage of this episode. Um, and we have another mountain stage between Vranja and Skopje Sant Panteleon. Um, a massive climb, the uh, Tanush FC with a max of 20% for the first two kilometers. Uh, then a long ass downhill towards Skopje. Only a plus one for Ruben, who is, uh, I think, is it F3? No, it's F2 for the gaps. No, it's F4 for the gaps. Yep. 246 down uh, GC wise. So we've closed back two minutes through um, yesterday's efforts. Mark Soler has lost the uh, lead to Egan Bernal. To be fair, the top four being within 30 seconds. That's that's just stuff we can dream of right now in uh in 2023 cycling. So I'm just providing entertainment for the masses at this point. Crash. And this time it's a big one for me. Ruben Thompson has hit the deck. Alright, we'll get water. It's not panic. I'm not seeing the peloton pace right now. I don't think Wilco Kelderman is pacing. So we're 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 good so far. Let's not lose too much time. But so far, we're okay. We just finished two climbs, um, which is good. We're not in a rush. Okay, Kelderman has started increasing his rhythm. Wilco, you dickhead. I, I hope you crash in the, in the very near future. Ruben Thompson has crashed again. May I, I mean, are you trying to lose this Giro? Because I just managed to bring him back in the peloton. And he crashes again. Absolutely outrageous behavior from Ruben Thompson here. We're starting, Uh It's a very difficult climb, as Mauro Schmidt says goodbye to uh, the Giro d'Italia. Turns out I'm not the only one who crashes, but I'm maybe uh, the only one who crashes uh, two times, or twice, should I say, with the same rider, his leader. 
in the same stage. Um, Ruben is doing okay. The peloton is not increasing at all its rhythm, which is perfect for me, as Egan Bernal leads for a reason that, that is completely obscure to me. Um, where's FDJ? The hair? Oh yeah, all the favorites are within the first 20 positions of this peloton. Okay, perfect. We're getting some attacks here by uh, the favorites in uh, the white roads of uh, Tanu Shepsa. And Ruben Thompson is not a fan of this sudden increase in rhythm. Let's take a look at who it's Ivan. Uh, Fortunato, don't care. Derek G, don't care. Adam Yates, I should potentially care, but at this point, I can't. Um, Warren Bargill, Verona, Aleotti, Sepkus, Thomas Glog. Oh, fuck's sake, Thomas Glog, I should also care. <sighs> I can't afford to care. That's my issue. The fact that Dylan Hopkins has more energy as well than Ruben Thompson worries the fuck out of me. When the Daniel portion, uh, Dylan and Ruben managed to um, stay in the first group. Not without uh, saying goodbye to literally everything they had energy-wise, but the Daniel is allowing them to um, just get some sort of strength back up as we uh, approach Skopje and its 4km climb. Arnaud Delis is here? Huh? How? How the fuck is Arnaud Deli in the lead group? What the fuck? How is he? How is he pulled that off? He wasn't even in the break. Oh, James Fouché crashed. Please, please back on your bike because you crashed alone as well. That's never a good sign. Get in. Back on the bike he goes. Left hander. And we start the uh, climb of Skopje San Pantaleon. Strong rhythm by Dylan Hopkins. We're going to do exactly what we did in the first episode in uh, those stages. Arnaud Dely has decided to stop. It's a shame. He had a minute lead after the, after the sprint. <laughs> Pretty sure he could have tried to carry on and maybe maybe uh, get something out of this stage. Jasper Phillips? What the fuck? You're telling me that Jasper Phillips and Arnaud Dely managed to make this climb with everyone, but I nearly didn't? Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. Sylvain Monique, if you wouldn't mind not being there, I would be a big fan of that. Uh, we're not going to win today. And as a matter of fact, we're going to lose some precious seconds today with Ruben Thompson. Uh, because Dylan Hopkins just could not put me in, a, in an ideal position. It's going to be a win for Adam Yates here in Skopje ahead of Juan Pedro Lopez. Oh, if Soler defeats Bernal, it's incredible scenes. I don't think he will. He does. Juan Pelopez prevented Bernal from getting bonus seconds. <laughs> Hashtag tactics. And here are the rankings after week number two of the Giro. Egan Bernal is going to um, spend the second rest day in the Maglia Rossa as Mark Soler and Pavel Sivakov um, narrowly trail him. So does Theo Guggenhardt, who did well by uh, taking a lot of seconds back on everyone on stage 14 here. Um, Henrik Mas is at 2.18, we sit in P6, 2 minutes and 46 seconds down. Without that time trial, we currently would have been in Maglia Rossa, um, but it's it's fine. Ruben Thompson never expected to, to fight for the GC. The fact that I'm still here is quite remarkable. We are one point ahead of Valim Pronsky in the mountain classifications. Um, with the best of water, points-wise, Arnaud Delis is uh, running away with it. Okay. In the meantime, we did win the uh, Carlos de Dunkerque, by the way. Um, and yeah, for the next episode, we'll finish the uh, Giro, we'll finish what we started, uh, and try to keep the jersey we currently have, and maybe try to keep the GC positions we have, but I can't guarantee it. But if you want to see that, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch you in the very, very near future. My name is Guillaume, have an amazing day. Yeah. Pass me the phone, get your phone.